Hi, Amy. Hi. I'm Amy, and I'm a tomboy. I uh, grew up in a neighborhood of mostly boys, and I'm daddy's little girl in the sense that I spent most of my time in his garage or watching baseball. Now, while the other little girls in the neighborhood wanted a pony, I wanted to be a Max bike. And even today, most girls would love to have a pair of Christian Louboutin shoes. I want my upteenth baseball jersey. It is so bad that I hired a wardrobe stylist to come over, look through my clothes, and try to teach me how to dress like a girl. But instead, I ended up introducing her to the largest collection of sports jerseys ever by a female. <laughs> Let me tell you, my boyfriend was really proud that day. So, I was like asking her, what do you mean? I just can't put a belt around a sports jersey and call it a dress. I mean, what if I put a pair of leggings under it from Forever 21? I mean, I thought I was starting a new trend. Apparently not. Even when I shop at a store that you don't think would have any sports stuff, Victoria's Secret, they got a sports line now. I have everything from it. Which leads me to a serious debate. Do I get my team's panties or do I get my boyfriend's team's panties? <laughs> I mean, it's quite the conundrum. Do I cheer on my team or betray my lifelong loyalties just to make him happy? <sighs> Well, let me tell you, I'm not a fan of my boyfriend booing me when I take my pants down. <laughs> <laughs> so betray yeah. Betrayal it is. So, I'm from Ohio, which means that all my sports teams suck. <laughs> now, I don't know if it's because we put chili and cheese on our spaghetti, all of our industrial waste polluted rivers catch fire, or people just do general stupid shit in Ohio, like get arrested for having sex with pool toys and alleys. Yeah, true story. Google it. But all of our sports teams find a way to fail epically and miserably. Now to prove my point, I will give you a list of my favorite teams and afterwards you're going to be convinced that girl's a masochist. Okay, here we go. Baseball. Cleveland Indians. The team so bad that Hollywood made not one, not two, but three movies about their suckage. You know it's bad when Charlie Sheen and his Adonis DNA can't even help your team win. Duh. Losing. Okay, basketball. Cleveland Cavaliers. I'll sum this up in two words. LeBron James. Hockey. Columbus Blue Jackets. Who? Well, they're a professional hockey team. They even have real uniforms. But, because they've never won anything, no one knows who the hell they are. College. The Ohio State University. As if there is another Ohio State University in the state of Ohio that makes that one the Ohio State University instead of that there Ohio State University. Anyway, a couple football players get a couple free tattoos and suddenly they forget how to play football. Which brings us to football. Miami Dolphins. Now you may be wondering how I, being the queen of Ohio, it's on my Twitter bio, and if it's on the internet, it must be true, ended up liking the Miami Dolphins. Well, when you're a ten-year-old girl, you like things like bright colors, and puppies, and rainbows, and cute animals. So, in my ten-year-old mind, dolphins pretty, teal and orange pretty, and then two years later you discover boys, Dan Marino, pretty. Hey, don't judge, when I was ten that was an extremely rational way of thinking and picking a sports team. Guess what? They suck too. They haven't won a Super Bowl since I was a fetus. <laughs> no, seriously, my mother was one month pregnant with me the last time they won a Super Bowl. And try explaining liking a team from Miami to all your Ohio friends. Thanks, LeBron. <laughs> so anyway, I'm from this podunk three traffic light town in Ohio. Yep, we're fancy. We have three traffic lights, which I'm pretty sure is why we are considered a town and not a village. But there is a local village, and it has a mall. It says so right on the front of the building. The Donaldsville Mall. Now, apparently, the definition of a mall in southwest Ohio means the guy behind the counter sells lottery tickets, and there's a vending machine for live bait outside the front door. <laughs> We're not too fancy, though. My high school still has drive your tractor to school day. <laughs> 
the door prizes at my last high school reunion? A case of motor oil and a hundred dollar gift certificate to a feed store. <laughs> now, one of the best things to do in my hometown that my people seem to go nuts for is this arcade game where this punching bag comes down and you hit it and you see how hard you can hit it. It tells you how many points. Well, last time I was home, my best friend from high school, Jason, decided that I needed to try this. So the punching bag comes down and I wail this thing as hard as I can. And I end up hitting it as harder than one of the guys in the place, to which his buddy looks at him and goes, Damn, that bitch hits like a man. <laughs> yep, daddy's little girl. <laughs> Don't let this flat chest fool you. <laughs> I swear I have a vagina. <laughs> now, I would love to stay and tell you more, but I have seven DVR baseball games to get home and watch. You guys have a great night. <laughs>